Grab your maple leaves and your favorite hockey jersey because today we're talking about a Canadian mattress, the Douglas Alpine. This bed claims to be really pressure relieving for all sleeping positions and provide a balance of support and comfort. Now let's see if that's true. I'm Lauren, editor and mattress embedding expert here at Mattress Nerd. I tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses and today we brought the Douglas Alpine into the Nerd Lab to run it through a series of geeky tests. I'll give you my thoughts, go in depth on performance and of course give you my pro con list. But if you don't have time for all of that, check out these timestamps down below to help you find anything that you're looking for. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. start off by letting you all know that goodmorning.com sent us the Douglas mattress for free to test and review and we may earn a commission if you decide to get one for yourself. That being said, personally it doesn't matter to me whether you get this mattress or not. I'm just here to give you an honest review and that's what I plan on doing. So let's start out with the highlights. I'm going to tell you exactly what to expect when you get the Douglas Alpine so there will be no surprises if you do decide to buy. Now this bed ships free to most of Canada and the contiguous US and you have a 100 night sleep trial to see if this bed is for you so you can sleep on it like normal except if you don't like it you can return it for a full refund. But if you do like it you can enjoy goodmorning.com's 15 year warranty. But if you want to read up more on their policies you can check out our full written review in the description. <laughs> They don't call us mattress nerds for nothing and as a mattress nerd I love to unzip a mattress to get a good look at the layers and see how they perform. But of course if there's any chopping involved do not try that at home because it may void your warranty. So let's start with the top. Now first up we got the brand's patented cover. It's made with tensile which the brand claims wicks away moisture and as a bonus you can unzip the cover for spot cleaning but I suggest you get a mattress protector anyway. Let's move on to the comfort layers. This top one is goodmorning.com's bread and butter, something called Eco Light Foam. It's a high density foam infused with gel, so it's supposed to add a cooling sensation and that's why this bed has more of an elevated feel instead of a sink in the bed feel. Next is the transition layer. It's responsive, which keeps you from feeling stuck and it provides pressure relief. And finally, we have the support layer, high density foam that's supposed to contribute to motion isolation and durability. Mattress nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is firmer than lying on a bed of bricks. And the Douglas Alpine mattress is a 6 out of 10 on our scale, which is medium firm. And this works best for the average back, side, and stomach sleeper. But we also want to see how well this bed responds to your movements if you like to toss and turn. So I'm going to use this lacrosse ball. As I bounce it on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. As I'm doing this, I'm getting great balance for an all foam mattress, so I would say that combination sleepers should be able to move easily on this bed. Now one thing you may not know is that a mattress will perform differently based on your sleep position and body type. Now most of us change positions as we sleep throughout the night, but most of us have a primary position where we spend majority of the night sleeping. For me, that's my stomach. Now you figure out what your primary position is as I move through this section. Now first up, side sleepers. Side sleepers need a mattress that relieves pressure from the hips and the shoulder and just adds a cushioning sensation to those joints that are pushed into the mattress. It should also be supportive enough to keep your spine in a straight line. Now this bed felt really soft and cushioning and nice to lay on, but when we rolled out our pressure maps, we saw a huge concentration of pressure in the hips and the shoulders of all of our testers. So if you have joint pain, that is something to be aware of. Now onto back sleepers. You just need a mattress that maintains the natural S curve of your spine. It should be in neutral alignment. And this mattress will do that for all back sleepers of all sizes. Check out these pressure maps. They look really good. And lastly, stomach sleepers like me, we just need a bed that is firm enough to keep the hips elevated instead of bowing down into the mattress. Now, light to average weight stomach sleepers should see great support from the Douglas, but heavyweight stomach sleepers may need a more supportive bed to keep those hips elevated. Mm -hmm. 
For all of you that share your mattress with a partner, pet, or child, listen up. You want a bed with good motion isolation because it keeps motion at one side of the bed and it doesn't transfer across and wake you up or wake up your partner. So here's the test. I placed a beaker of liquid on that side of the bed. The movement in that beaker signifies how much movement you feel as I press my hands into the mattress, which mimics the feel of tossing and turning. Now the liquid in that beaker is barely moving at all, so we're gonna test this further by dropping a weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. And as I do this, there is a little more movement in there, but it's nothing significant. So I would say if you sleep with a partner, you should be able to do so soundly on the Douglas. Now it's time to test edge support. And edge support refers to the level of support you get around the perimeter of your mattress. So if you use them to get in and out of bed, or you just like to sit here while you get ready in the morning, edge support is gonna be important to you. Now, most all foam mattresses have less than stellar edge support, and I would say that the Douglas Alpine continues that tradition. I'm sinking down pretty far here, and there is a feeling like I am falling when I lie along the edge. We all know that cost is a huge factor when mattress shopping, so let's break down the price of the Douglas. Now, I've tested a bunch of mattresses at my time here at Mattress Nerd, and most of the time I've found that most queen size beds range anywhere between $500 to $3,500. Now, the Douglas Alpine costs about $1,000 Canadian dollars, which roughly translates to about $800 US dollars, so it's a pretty great deal all around. Um, but prices are always changing, so be sure to check the link in the description for the most up-to-date pricing. All right, we're near the end of this review, so it's time to wrap it up with a pro-con list. I made a list of the three best and worst things about the Douglas Alpine. I like to start out with the bad news, so let's get into the cons. First up, if you're a side sleeper who suffers from joint pain, this may not be the best mattress for you. Our pressure map showed a lot of buildup in the hips and the shoulders, but the nerds and I made a list of our favorite side sleeper mattresses that I will link in the description below. Next up, the edge support on this mattress is less than impressive, so if you rely on the edges to get in and out of bed or you just like to sleep there, maybe try out a hybrid mattress with reinforced edges. And lastly, this is an all foam mattress, so more likely than not, it will retain some body heat, so be aware of that if you sleep hot. Now, let's move on to the pros. First up, this is a great option for couples because it isolates motion well, so you can both sleep soundly, but it's also really responsive, so it's a good option for sex. Next up, if your current mattress is giving you back pain, this is a really great option to replace it. You shouldn't have any back pain when you lie on your back, and side sleepers have great alignment on this bed, which also prevents back pain. And lastly, price. Even though they're schlepping these mattresses from across the border, they're still really affordably priced, which was very impressive to me. So, bottom line, is the Douglas Alpine mattress a balanced, pressure-free bed? Yes and no. It relieves pressure really well for back and stomach sleepers, but not so much for side sleepers. But it does offer a great balance between comfort and support. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. And for more content like this, follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.